Hello guys, welcome back to the DNA Medical Series. Again, I'm your boy Damar and this is Nikki. And today we have a special video that was requested from one of our subscribers. Shout out to Maxine calling JS. Big up yourself, Maxine. Alright, so in today's video we're going to look on how to take notes effectively. Alright, so stay tuned. Before we look at how to take notes effectively, an important thing to consider before starting to take notes is to pre-read. Alright, so if you don't pre-read, then you'll find yourself taking out of unnecessary notes and writing things that you know you, you don't really need to write. So pre-reading will give you an idea of what is it the lecture will go through, what is it um, that's on the lecture notes and things like that so you know what additional things you need to write and yeah things like that mm -hmm. so for pre-reading um if you know the topic that the lectures is going to teach or so on and so forth you can go to google you can even go to youtube to watch videos on these and when yes we have videos too <laughs> because we do teaching videos and so on so you go to YouTube, go to your textbook if you have them soft copy or hard copy and you just look at the topics and just do a general pre-read of what it's about. So when you come and you hear these words, they're not foreign to you. You might not understand everything, but you might get a little bit of the concept. Right. So Damar already told you guys that it's important to pre-read. So the next thing I want you guys to do is to go to your lectures. Do not skip any of your lectures. Go to all your lectures. And what I want you to do is to access your lecture slides before you go. So you can, usually they're on OURBLE before the lecture, is, the lecture comes with them or their old one that might not have much changes and so on. So if you don't know how to access OURBLE, we have a video for you to help you how to access it and so on. So open the old lecture slide or the new one that the lecture posted and I want you to edit it. So as you go along, you'll have the original material and then you're going to listen to what the lecturer is saying, the important information or hints that they're dropping and so on and so forth and you just add it to your lecture slide so this is your personal thing no one will have this this is what you created so you have the original lecture slide then you have yours that you added with the important information yeah because sometimes during the lecture sometimes the lecturer just use the powerpoint as a guide and then they will elaborate on some things or sometimes in class students may ask a question right and that will lead to the lecturer going into a different um, explanation that you may not have thought about or you weren't thinking along that direction and so this can help you you can write it um, as Nikki said on the PowerPoint notes as well and if you, you're not that as, as Nikki said first um, sometimes you can take the notes on the PowerPoint and stuff if you have an iPad you can use your iPad pencil and you can edit it in PDF or whatever you so desire but if you're not that technological person and you have your simple notebook and stuff you can just write additional notes so anything that works best for you alright so you've pre-read You've made your additional notes based on the lecture that was given, right? And now you have your compiled notes. So once you go home or you're in the comfort of your home, you can post read, right? And during your post reading, you can add any additional information or, you know, just think about any other explanation, anything that you're not clear of. Do further research, um, watch a video and stuff. And now you have your perfect notes. That you can work with and put, um, have yourself be prepared for exam. Right. So as I said before, with our pre-reading, you pre-read from textbook, videos, and so on and so forth. You can also post-read from these as well. Post-read from your textbook. Go to YouTube, grab a video because most of 
most of the videos on YouTube tie into the things that you're doing in university now. So, but you have, but you have to be very careful of the videos you choose because some people might give you misleading information. So choose correctly, choose colorless sources to take your notes from and take good notes, highlight the high yield stuff, the important stuff so you can remember them and cement them in your head. So that's basically the way of, the best way to take effective notes. All right, so thank you very much for listening and I hope you take something away from today's video and yeah. Yeah, and we want to thank you again, Maxine, for oh, yeah. requesting this video. Thank you very much. And if you, anybody else have any videos that they'd like us to do, please request it in the comment section below. And guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time. See, see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.